So hi, it's Erin again. I'm in the Great American Scrapbook Convention and I am in the Heartfelt Creations booth. They have some amazing stamps and dies. And here's some of the awesome things the design team has done. And they have the ones where you can stamp and then you can die cut out the stamp that you have. And they work with um, the, the, the wafer thin dies. So they work well with pretty much any machine you can get. They do run them through spell binders, but they do design all their own stamps. It's a very shabby, chicy kind of a feel. It's very cool. And they started putting out their own paper lines, which is really fun. And they also have other fun little doodads that go along with their cards. They started putting out some fun, oh, here's some of the little things, the prills that they like to put on their cards. And they have their own flower shaping kits that they put together. And they also have little pocket flip fold inserts and albums and storage binders for all their fun stuff. Hello, you're here with Andrea, Heartfelt Creations. We are going to show you a technique of how our stamps and dies coordinate together. So we're using the Blazing Poppy today. We'll go ahead and use a little bit of color box, chalk ink, and dark brown. This is just a really great dye-based ink, so it's going to dry quickly. It'll be wonderful for this project, so it's not smearing all over our fingers while we're shaping our flowers. We just want to apply some good pressure. And then we have our image. We will take now the coordinating die. On our die, the blade is on the edge. This allows us to flip that down, allows us to see right through to line up our image to make sure when we run it through our die cutting machine that we are cutting right where we want to. So I'm going to tape that down in place, but if you had a magnetic plate, that would work as well. Today I'm using the Tim Holtz Vagabond by Sizzix, but any manual die cutting machine will work. I love those. You just push a button and it goes. It's wonderful. <laughs> Especially if you have some arthritis issues, maybe some just arm problems, or just doing lots of lots and lots of flowers. So then you can see how nice and quickly we're able to cut out seven petals at once. Now this is wonderful no matter what your project, if you're trying to start a nice large flower, multiple small ones, or a nice layout. So we're going to do two flowers here today. We're going to give it a little bit of quick color. We love color, but sometimes there's not a lot of time for it. So the finger dauber technique is wonderful for us. It gives us a vibrant or uh, subtle look and very quickly. So this is a color box chalk ink and harvest. Just putting this in the center of our poppies and then on the centers of our petals. Once we're finished there, I will go ahead and use my Memento Sweet Plum ink on all of the edges. And you can see how nice and fast this is going. One. Now we're ready to start shaping. Oops, runaway dauber. So today we <laughs> are going to be time. doing a textured look. So we're just going to flip this over and spritz the back with water. The water is going to break up the fibers. It's going to make it easier to style and it's going to hold the shape really nicely when we're finished. So we have our stylus tool and our stylus mat. We'll use the smaller end, drawing three to four lines on the back of each petal. And then when I flip it over, I can quickly and easily do an accordion fold or kind of a pinching technique. And when I'm finished here, I'm going to just lightly hold that, take the larger end, and just round out that center so it's kind of flipping up. Okay. And I'm holding my end so that way I'm keeping the nice texture, but I'm still getting the rounded look as well. Once I'm finished there, I'll set that aside, doing the exact same thing on the second layer. We'll spritz to get the fibers broken up. We'll draw our three to four lines on the back of the petals. And then we'll go ahead and do our accordion fold. I've also seen where you use the same stylus where you kind of roll and do a rolling technique oh, yes. and it makes it do, that's another version. And I'm sure there's a ton of other demos out there that are yes. like that. You could get more of this look when you're doing that, just much more rounded. And when you get the stylus, isn't there a more than one size of the styluses? There's there tiny are. ones. We have the deluxe flower shaping kit. When I open it, it does come with our shaping mat, a paper piercing mat. Our tool is magnetic and you get 10 tips. Very and the cool. nice thing is if you hop onto our YouTube channel as well, Emily does show you what each piece is for. Fabulous. So we are ready to just glue this together real quick. And I'll put a link to her YouTube channel from this video so you Wonderful. can see that. So we like to use the dry clear glue. It actually dries clear, dries quickly. With the precision tip added, it's perfect for small details. 
Perfect. I'm also using my stylus when I'm assembling my flowers, that way I'm not smashing them. So next I'm going to add a centerpiece. We've been using these great stamens. They were cut out of the Sunrise Lily Collection. There they so are. I will just take the larger end. It's a little hard to see on here, but I'm just lightly going over each of these tips to kind of curl them up slightly. And you already pre-die cut all of these just for fast. Absolutely. <laughs> and then I'm gonna flip over my mat to give you a little more cushion with the smaller end again. Just poke right down the center to create more of a cupping. And gotcha. hopefully you can kind of see how nice and full that is Very now. Very cute. So we'll glue that right in the center. And notice you put a little flower up there, so that way you don't have to worry about recapping it all the time on your glue. Exactly. Genius. If you lose the glue, um, excuse me, the glue tip, it's going to be very hard to find it, of course, because it's small. And then also, it's going to clog. So that flower just helps us to find it much easier. So, so now, little things that make life so much easier. Oh, it is. <laughs> so now you can see we are just adding a little bit of glue with that precision tip for some glitter. And this is just a beautiful crystal glitter. It ends up looking almost iridescent once the glue dries. And, and then over here you've got the prills yes, that I've seen before. I'm going to finish with the prills. They're oh, a little fun. like microbeads, but not as bouncy. And I'll just do a centerpiece there. And the great thing about all of these flowers, you can see it's finished. Okay, you can just create that is. so many looks with one flower. This one is also this one here. It's also this one, this one, and this one. So you can get a lot of great variety. That's the poppy. Fabulous. Yes, it is. It's There's the a whole bunch of little poppies and you can take them and you can layer them, cluster them however you want. Exactly. So thank you so much. And your name is? Andrea. Nice thank to meet you, you Andrea. Us. Thank you so much. And we're over at Heartfelt Creations at the Great American Scrapbook Convention in Arlington, Texas. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>